All right, everybody, it's your boy Darnell from the Arizona Informant Newspaper Legacy Edition. Today, I'm blessed to be in front of Miss Martha Ward. How old are you, Miss Martha Ward? I'm 94 years old. I was born January the 27th, 1919. I mean, January the 21st, 1927. I love it. And where are you from? Crockett, Texas. Crockett, Texas. And what made you move out here to Phoenix? Well, I left Crockett and went to Houston in 1942. I came out here in 1944. Okay, and what made you come out here? Better life. Okay. Okay, so what's the, what were you doing when you first moved out here? First moved out here, I was picking cotton. Okay. But I didn't come on no cotton truck. I, I, I come on the train from Houston here. There was a train that came here from Houston? Yeah. Oh, wow. How much was the train? I don't know. I forgot what it cost. <laughs> but I left Friday evening. Five o'clock, Houston. Hmm. I got here Sunday morning at seven o'clock. Okay. Okay. And then, um, yeah, just tell us your story. You know, how you came up. You know, what was. Well, I, uh, uh, I, my, I was born January 21st, 1927. And my mother died uh, March the 30th, mm -hmm. 1930. Okay. So I was only three years old when she died. Oh, wow. I don't know nothing about her. Wow. Nothing. Then we lived with my grandmother for a while. And Grandpa, she, Grandma was half white. Okay. And Indian. Okay. Her daddy was a white man. And her mama was a Indian, mm -hmm. Choctaw. Mm hmm. And he had ten children by my great grandma. That wow. Indian lady. Wow. He had ten, six boys and four girls. I know them all, but one. So are they still living? No, they did. Oh, so you like the last of the Mohicans? They. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, they um, uh, uh, I know the the six boys and three girls. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the one boy, he had uh, nineteen children. Wow. He had 19 and all of his kids, but one or two had a bunch of, bunch of kids, 15, 14, and all that kind of stuff. Wow. That's cutting roots of uh, uh, Daddy Rock, the child. And uh, anyway, I come out here and I pick cotton, and I chop cotton. I pick uh, uh, carrots. But I had a struggle. Mm. And I went on back to school and got my GED and did day work in the white folks' house. Day work and went to school, beauty school, at night. Mm. Graduated too. Mm. What year did you graduate? Was that 59 or 60, Chuck? Oh, no, talk to the, tell the story. Uh, but maybe, me. Maybe, no, but uh, uh, wait, let me see. No, I, call, I got the beauty shop over here on, on Buckeye Road in 1960. It must have been 59. So you own your own beauty salon? Yeah, right here at 1205 West Buckeye Road. So it's still it's still up and going now? No, no, it ain't going now. What they got over at now, Rock Charlie? No, oh, upholstery <laughs> place right over here, 1205. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how long did you own your own? Uh, was it hard to start your own business around that time? No, I was still young. I worked. Mm. And um, I worked 40 years doing hair. I did hair until my hands got so bad until uh, from that chemicals in the hair, hair mm. dye. So mm. I had to quit. Mm. Uh-huh. Wow. So take me back to the to the cotton the, the cotton days. Yeah, I used to pick cotton fifty cents a hundred. Fifty cents a hundred? Fifty cents a hundred. So you had to work, baby. So how did that work? Like every for every Huh? How, how did, did it work? You had to make it work. <laughs> fifty cents a hundred and chop cotton all day long. One dollar. Wow. One dollar a day? A dollar a day. Wow, and what was, so did you have a house back then? Did you have an apartment? Like, where'd you guys stay at? Oh, I did this in Crockett, that, that chopped that cotton all that, that, that. No, I rented my house when I when I stayed here. Hmm. I stayed in 1432 South 14th Avenue, 
1228 South 9th Avenue. Wow. 1342 West Sherman. Hmm. And 1127 West Tonto. <laughs> and that's what we have right now. That's tough. So right now. Sense. I've been here 55 years. 56 years. Ain't a child. So when did you have this house built, Mama? Tell them how much it built, how much, when it was it, and how much it cost. Mm -hmm. Oh. You know I had this house built. Look at the machine, Mama. In the, in uh, the... I moved in at the 28th of June, 1965. Wow. How much you pay, Mom? I paid left. Let me see what I paid for this lot. Seven hundred dollars. For this lot that we're sitting on now. Uh huh. Wow. Seven seven hundred dollars. How much did the house cost to be? To I get? think it was uh what was it? Seven thousand nine hundred, I think. Look into the thing, Mom. Seven thousand and nine hundred, I believe that's what it was. Wow. Three bedroom brick house. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. If y'all can see it, man, this is. It feels like I'm back in my grandparents' house, man. That's how it feels. Mm -hmm. I love it, man. So was it hard to... I just want to hear the story just behind, you know, the blood, sweat, and tears that a lot of people my age and this generation ain't really don't really know. I mean, we walk around the neighborhood and the community, but we really don't know what it took to, to, yeah, to make I this worked, happen. Yeah, I worked in the, uh, the, the folks. Uh, I did day work, send myself to school. Mm -hmm. And I had children, too. So was it hard to to have your children and to and do work. it? Yeah, it was kind of hard, but I had somebody good to take care of my kids while I worked. Mm. I had a little lady staying with me. Okay, Mama Ella. Mama Ella. Uh huh. Her name was Martha Walker. Hmm. And uh, she stayed and took care of my kids while I worked. Okay. Why you worked at the salon, or why you? While you I worked at the salon, then she finally left. And I got the lady live next door to take care of my kid. How many kids did you have? I got seven. Seven? I, I got six now. I lost one in 1981. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, I mean, from you being in, what, 19, what was it, 1950? When I moved in this house? Yeah. 19, uh, I, I, 1965 when I moved here. So what about the change? Like, what do you think about the change that's happening? Because you've seen a lot over your decade. Oh, baby, yeah, I done seen a lot. Sure have, because Buckeye Road was wide open at that time. Oh, okay. And I was right, right here on 12th Avenue in Buckeye. I used to go through the back here to go to the shop. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it was a struggle, but I made it. I see. We sit, we sitting in your fortress, man. We sit, we sitting in your home. I could have, I could have done better than this year here. But uh, I didn't want nothing hardly but uh, high heel shoes <laughs> and them rabbit colors, <laughs> the rooster, rooster feathers on my hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, and that rabbit, that rabbit hair around the, co the coat. Oh, I liked it that. Did you go out? Did you go out to clubs and everything around? How was the I club? I did for like? a little while. I okay. did for a little while. I got out of church when I went down that one night, and there he was up in there. <laughs> Who was he? <laughs> it's time to call your dogs in. Uh-uh, in there. <laughs> Doing the slop. Oh, Lord, okay. I said, get on back in the church where you belong. Hmm. So that's where I'm at, 1537 West Buckeye Road. Okay, and what church do you attend? Emmanuel. Oh, Church of God of Christ. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, how long you been there, Mama? What have you done over there? Oh, baby, I done done a lot over there. I'm tell it. Okay. Uh, oh, Lordy. I was the pastor's aide. I, I don't know how long I worked at the pastor's aide over there. But uh, Evelyn Coulter, she was the president. Mm -hmm. And uh, she left her husband. They, they got a church. Mm -hmm. She she left there and she... Uh, uh, went to the old Nate Church up, and her sister-in-law, Sylvia Coulter, was the president. Because she was Evelyn's sister. Mm -hmm. uh, she was her sister. Mm -hmm. They would, had two brothers. And when she, Sylvia gave it up, and I was her sister, she didn't want to work no more. Mm -hmm. So I took it and kept it for 22 years. At Emmanuel? At Emmanuel. Wow. 
So what Kip, are some of the projects you took on at Emmanuel? Mike? Okay, the sign, you can go down through that. You see that sign sitting up there? Mm -hmm. I yeah. got that sign. Okay. The marquee. Yeah. I had, um, I put on 100 Women's in Red, Family Friends, Family and Friends Day, and I had Spring Banquets, mm. and uh, I had Seven Up Program, and what else did I have? Cake Walks. I read one. Wow. That sign cost $11,800. Oh, you remember every dime? Yeah. <laughs> Eleven thousand eight hundred dollars and twenty one hundred dollars to put it in the ground. Wow. You go down and you see it. Wow, I see it all the time. Oh, do you? Yeah, I see okay. it all the time. Okay. <laughs> if you go inside, I got uh, chandeliers in there. Mm hmm. That's four thousand six hundred dollars. Hmm. And what else did I do? The parking lot, mom. The parking lot. I don't know what the parking lot called. The church bought ten thousand dollars for me to put the church, put the top on the church. Oh, the, oh, wow. Yeah. Bought $10,000 out of my trade. I don't know if they got that parking lot. I don't know what it's called. Wow. And, so, uh, let me see, what else did I do? Oh, a bug, the first year Bug was there, my pastor. Mm -hmm. He asked me to uh, help him get that monument back there, put dead folks' pictures in. Mm -hmm. And I asked him what it cost. And he told me $4,200. He went to the convocation when he got back. I raised four. I, I raised four thousand one hundred and fifty-seven dollars. He didn't have much to put through that, did he? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you joined over there, uh, hmm. tell who the, who the pastor was. Huh? Oh, Bishop King was the pastor. He was living. Oh, Bishop King. Yeah, he was living that. And when we moved, now when I first come here, I moved next door to his mother. Well. I moved next door. I come here in 1944. Mm -hmm. okay. 1945, I, I moved over here to 11, you know, 15, 15, 23, 15, something up, West Tonto. Okay. Next door to his uh, his mother, Bishop King's mother. Oh, wow. And the church was over here, the 1522, 1322, mm -hmm. West Sherman. And so that's what we stayed at until. He, he bought that lot down there on 16th. Mm -hmm. Then they went to have a church up in a tent. Yeah. And finally he got a, a old barrack, army barrack, and put it there. Oh, okay. And then had church in that until uh, he got, saved up enough money, I guess, you know, to try to move that barrack off and build that church. And that's what he did. So did he dedicate anything to you? In that church? You have I, don't, a, I don't know. You have a brick or anything? That's I don't know. I don't know what's on the front, whether they burnt the markets or not. I don't know what's out there or not. Oh, you haven't been over there in a while? Uh, yeah. I, well, I've been going there, but I can't go down there peeping around there. We don't even go in the front door no more. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me how the neighborhood was around there uh, at that time. Oh, it was a real bad. Folks are stealing and breaking all in the church and stuff. And, oh, man, it was terrible. What what years was those? What year was that when that was going on? Oh, when those was so bad. Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't know what year that was, but it's it's been a few years now since it was bad. There's the, the crips and stuff, gang members are all in here, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what changes have you seen from from 1950s to now? Ooh, been a great change, baby. Been a great change. All the old folks done died out. And then all of them ain't dead. They off somewhere else and then lost their houses and stuff. And, and then what the children done messed their houses off and bought way out somewhere. But so it's, 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 you know, it's been a great change. So how did you, how were you able to keep your house? I worked in taking care of business. Well, no, I'm talking up until now, like even during the pandemic time. Oh, I've just been blessed, baby. I got six living, living children. Oh, okay. And if I need something other, I ain't got the money to get it. Mm -hmm. I call him, I call this other child, but I don't bother. This is the, 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 people tell me, girl, if I had a son and he got a place child, I'd be sitting by son, uh, I ain't going to have them girls mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> Here come your mama. <laughs> That's 
sauce, you'd be doing big. Uh -uh. So <laughs> I taught my children work. If you need that thing, work and get it. So I heard your your nickname is Chairman of the Board. Yeah. 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 Nothing, nothing happened unless the chairman say so. It, oh boy, cause they know I had it. <laughs> yeah, I got some chandeliers down there at the church. You come on down there and you see them. Okay, I want to take a trip down there with you one day and just right. you walk me through everything. I want to know about. The foundation before the church was there, just all of the. They had a little barrack there, man. Mm -hmm. But we was blessed. So, were you active in the the city of Phoenix at all? Oh, baby, well, no, not really. But I was in the schools and stuff, and I, my children played sports and stuff, and I have a dinner for this one down here, mm -hmm. a home meal, a home cooked meal, turkey and dressing greens. Cornbread, oh, mm. and you could eat it too. Mm. German chocolate cakes, and mm. velvet cakes, and potato pies, and them teachers be glad to see me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what school? What schools was it? Uh, Methune. Okay. Dunbar. Okay. Phoenix Union. Okay. Mm -hmm. Were you were you around when uh, they had uh, Carver? No. Uh, uh, yeah, they had Carver, but I didn't go to school here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you were a little older. So are you older than uh, Calvin Good? I mean, you're about the same age. I'm 94. Okay. We were about the same age. Mm -hmm. Were you, did y'all ever talk or hang out? or? Oh, yeah, we talked and him and his wife and all this stuff. Last time we met up, met up out there to the graveyard. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so were you married at any time? or? Oh, yeah. I was married, but it didn't work. It didn't work My out? My name didn't change about three times. <laughs> So how, how do you feel about how do you feel about that? I mean, are you are you okay with it? Oh yeah, I'm okay because I made it out all right. <laughs> yeah, honey, I, I made it out all right. I tell you the truth, wasn't nobody gonna come in here and mistreat my kids. I'll be sitting here with them from now on. Mm. Uh uh. You get these old men in your house and they don't want your children to eat and then all that kind of stuff and dog them around. Uh uh. So if you had an opportunity to kind of talk to my generation right now. Uh, what would you say to them? I'd tell them to mind their own business. <laughs> Keep your hands off of other folks' stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't lay out all night and come back with your britches hanging all down and some of them don't have no underwear on. I would just tell them like it is. Mm -hmm. I love it. So where you are, are you considered a church mother now, right? Oh yeah, mother. They, I supposed to be an honorary mother. Mm -hmm. And then here he comes sliding up there. I said, I thought I was an honorary mother. <laughs> Yeah, the current pastor, you babysitted him. Say that too. Yeah. Uh, who? The pastor at the, you babysitted the pastor oh, at... Oh, pastor, yeah. He's a little boy when I come here. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you babysit him? Well, I would be around him all the time. I'd be around him all the time. I kept him from getting whoopings a lot of the time. <laughs> you protect, you save yeah. him? <laughs> and then I heard a story about you being the candy lady. Ain't this something? Who done done that? No, nah, I, I just heard look it. Look here, Charlie, come back. I got a thing down here. There's a plaque up in your Charlie, come here and look at it. Oh, I see it's it right here. It's full of dust, ain't it? Ain't it full of dust? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look here. <laughs> yeah, I sold candy, baby. I sure did. Can't wipe that off, baby. She, she sold candy, chicken dinners, and that's why she raised all that money. Yeah, so that so you was a candy lady. I was candy lady. <laughs> so candy, look here. There's a plant I got right there. Okay. I see. Remembering of the hands, mother, grandmother. Okay. Hairdresser, helper, worker. So you took care of a lot of a lot of people within the community. Yes. 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 Did you ever take care of a lot of these uh, the big pastors that's out here? They don't take care. Yeah, Titus. You know Titus. Titus Lee? Yeah. Yeah. He used to stay he right up cross streets over there. Oh, really? Look at it. He would tell you, I, I, I used to work in my yard all the time. Uh -huh. And I had a beautiful, uh, folks would come out there take pictures of my yard. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they'd be talking about me over there. I'd be sitting up over here. Miss Martha! I said, yeah. I hop up out the chair. I could walk through it then. I hop up the chair. My door. Oh, that's all right. I tell them now about it, you know. I said, y'all thought I was watching y'all. I was out by my own business. What's that, y'all? <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. I was time, and I was selling candy. I was up there in the project. I don't know what Titus was doing, but I don't know what they was gambling or what. Oh, back then? Yeah. I don't oh. know what they were doing. He was a little boy. 
And uh, so the police came. And they all hopped up and run. But the man must have known for a time to stay there. When I come back up, back for me and the cops was at the, the house. And uh, he asked me, his auntie was sitting there, his mama's auntie was sitting over there. He said, is this Titus coat? I said, yes, his mama just bought it. <laughs> you told the cops on him. Yeah, but she did just bought it. <laughs> he brought it to us. He broke the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Titus was so bad it'd be his so what to do. Oh. It ain't nothing my coat. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. So you you got I mean I know you have so many stories of just Oh boy I of got life. I mean let the let us know some stories. I said about you, you. you see this thing? Did you read this? Yeah, I read it, yeah. Yeah. That's a girl I used to keep. Mm hmm Done that. That's my hand there. Oh, it's yours? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Wow. You're talking about an independent hardware. She used to walk from 14th Avenue to the Barber Cottage over on 17th in, in Jefferson. Okay. Mm -hmm. To Barber to the Barber uh, Cottage. Mm -hmm. Beauty Beauty College. Mama used to walk to the Beauty College to get her beauty training. She walked from 14th Avenue in Pima all the way over to 17th Street, Jefferson. Between Jefferson and Madison, that's mm -hmm. where the the, Walker's, the, Beauty School. the Walker's Beauty College was. She used to walk. I don't know how many days a week. Uh, what you walk, Mama? How many days a week did you walk? Six. Six days a week she walked from 14th Avenue. I don't know. That's the least. Sometimes I would get a ride. But most of the time you walk. Mm -hmm. So what were you doing uh, when she was doing all this? He was a boy then. I was. I was a little boy. He wasn't no little boy, but he was a big size boy. <laughs> he was a big size boy, eating the way he is now. He was a big size boy. About 15 to 14 or years old, yeah. something like that. See, I'm the oldest of the of the, of the seven. Mm -hmm. And matter of fact, I'm 12 years old, older than my next sibling. Mm. And Daryl Wayne, Pastor Daryl Grissom, mm -hmm. he's the baby okay. of the family. Got you. Okay. That's why you spoiled his, uh, his no, niece and nephew. No, she spoiled him. Mm. That was her baby. Oh, wow. That was her baby. And she used to be out on the field when he was playing. That's, 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 that's a picture of him when he was, he was, he still got records that haven't been broken. Okay? Wow. Yeah. He played at Phoenix, Phoenix Union. Uh, well, starting out at Pop Warner. Mm-hmm. For the whirlwinds. I mean, what, did he play for the whirlwinds? Downtowns, too. Down, he played for those. And... One of the fastest guys in the state. If the team had 50 touchdowns, 49 of them was his. Wow. That's how fast he was. Mm -hmm. He went on the Phoenix Union wide receiver, set all kind of records there. Okay, when, uh, when he laid out on the field for quite some time. But at Stanford, we got a real scare and, and the, sure athletic did, department, there. the athletic department suggested that you know, he didn't have enough protection mm. and that he would give up playing football. That wasn't in his best interest. So he was very smart. So he was able to get an, an after, uh, uh, academic scholarship to go ahead on and get his degree at Stanford. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. He ain't never told me as many times as I talked to him. He ain't never told me this. But he's modest. He, you know, you know, he, don't, he don't brag on himself. Oh, well, I'm gonna definitely call you Ryan, but hey, yeah, your daddy was. Oh, well, you know you right, you right. Yeah, that's my that's my man. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, he just he uh, and of course you know he's the pastor up at yeah uh, Park in the Lily of the Valley Church of God in Christ. Now, mom's talk about your brother, mom. Talk about your brothers. How many brothers you had? Oh yeah, I had. The, but my mother, my look mother, at the look in the thing, mom. My mother had uh, eight children. Mm. She had. Uh, what is it, three girls, four girls? Wait a minute. She had eight kids. She had a set of twins. She had three boys, didn't she? What's right? going down, everybody? It's your boy, Darnell, and I want to thank you so much for coming on here and watching the interview. If you can, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at Arizona Informant TV, where you will get all the latest content, all the updated information, and all the latest news. So, again, please subscribe to the channel, and we will see you soon. So, she had eight kids. And she died at the age of 30. Your mom did? Mm-hmm.
And that's when you was, you said you were the youngest, right? You were no, no, three? She, I was three when she died. Okay. But she had me in 27, and she had a set of twins in 28. And in 30, she had a boy, a, a baby. She died and left a nine-day-old baby. Wow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what so about... I'm on this one living out of that set of children. So what about your father? You My ever... father, I had a good father. My father, he uh, remarried, and he had two children by his second marriage. Hmm. And so one of them died, a little girl. She died when she was a baby. She was born in 1940. She died. And so my brother, he's born in 38. He's in Houston, Texas. He's a bishop. Hmm. Uh -huh. Church of God in Christ. What's his name? His name is Frank Edwards. Faneuil, F-A-N-N-I-E-L. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what can you tell me about uh, Mr. Charles Faneuil? That's my baby. He likes me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my baby. Hey, I told you I was down there on Buckeye mm -hmm. and looked around to see him. He's in there doing the slop. <laughs> I had to come out of there. He was doing the slop? Doing the slop. That was a dance. Mm. He was doing the slop. But that's my baby. He be he left, he's stronger weight, but he come on back with some sense. He left here, then went to California. I had to send him, get him on the train, come back in. He's been pretty good ever since. You been getting, you been giving him the act right? Yeah, he has it right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. You want to talk about your, 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 the Cobbs and the, and the, and the your family members? Oh, yeah, them? well, daddy. Oh yeah, daddy. Looking, looking at you know what? <laughs> daddy, yeah, daddy had what is that? I think daddy's mama. She was a cops. I think it's five girls. Now it was uh, Grandma Sarah and Aunt Weenie, Aunt Lizzie, Aunt Weenie, Weenie uh, uh, Hudson. Ain't, ain't Weenie, and ain't Lizzie, ain't Mary, and ain't Martha, and who else? Mm -hmm. Is that six? Oh, ain't ain't Nancy. Okay. That that six. Now, which one of them lived to be a hundred and something? All of that. Well, ain't 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 Martha did? Ain't Weenie? Ain't ain't the Mary died when the four hours? I didn't know her. So they all lived to be a hundred, over a hundred. Grandpa got to be a hundred and eleven. Oh, my wow. mother, daddy. Oh wow. Uh huh. So were you guys close? No, I didn't like him. <laughs> he looked like a, a, a he was so black. <laughs> and boy, I didn't, all them but women's got the most sorry men. Didn't they work themselves to death for them women. Mm. Grandma got this. She didn't do nothing but sit. Mm. Half Indian and white folk. Mm. And Grandpa was black and just worked himself to death. All of them got the more black women. <laughs> and all them, them women got the more black men. Uncle Will Paul. And uh, what the, uh, uh, what was that, uh, 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 Annie Elby? What was that, what was her husband's name? Well, Annie Elby had a black one. And uh, Aunt Dixie had a, a black one. His name was Will Falls. And Grandma had Grandpa, and her name was Willie. Her name was Willie, and his name was Ch Charlie Marshall. So did you name uh, Mr. Fennell after Charlie? Uh -huh. Did you name Mr. Fennell after Charlie? Uh, no, Grandpa? Yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> so your so the so your so your family tree. What's your family tree? Cubs? What the Cobbs and the Coopers? The Coopers? Coopers. Coopers. C O O P E R. Okay. That's your family tree, right? Yeah. Okay, your original family tree. Yeah, the Cobbs. So how many siblings you have got? You got left? Just you and Uncle Frank, right? Yeah, but I'm by Dad's first wife, and mm. Frank by the second wife. Right, right, right. So yeah. do you guys get along? Oh yeah, he's nice with both. Now Grandpa. Grandpa was a, uh, he wasn't, he, he wasn't, he wasn't born into slavery. He wasn't, he was a, I don't know. But 
He was born, you know what year he was born? I don't know. You tell my daddy? Yes. Well, daddy was born in 1896. I thought you were my child. 1896. My daddy was born in 1896. And mm. grandpa, I'm uh, grandpa, uh, and the land is still in the family. 80, 88 acres in it? Mm. How many acres is it? 70, I think it's 76, ain't it? 76 acres down there in Texas right now that we still pay taxes on. Wow. Yes. And, and uh, we, we got some up there, the couple settlement, I don't know, all of them did, so to put it in uh, Vinoya's name. And then after Vinoya, I guess, got up in age, she put it in her bar name and all the sisters' children are dead. And so every, everything that you could think of, Grandpa grew it on his land. Cotton, corn, uh, peanuts, uh, peas. Uh, peas, vegetables, beans. Uh, you can you name it greens everything mm -hmm. pears and all kinds plums. of plums plum trees and uh, all kinds of grapefruits and oranges and plums and persimmons it's, it's, it's a it's a it blackberry you just go down inside the fence that is growing up down inside the fence excuse me and pick up pick pick them mm. all you want and we still have the land are you still growing stuff on the land? Not anymore. Ain't nobody down there. Nobody wants to go down there anymore. You don't want to go down there? No, Lordy. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, my sister, she got a nice house down there. They punished you still in the house. Hmm. She uh, she got a nice house down there. That girl done wouldn't have a top put on it mm -hmm. and everything. And her punished you still in the house. Wow. Lights on down there. Wow. Wow. So anything else you think you want to say, Mom? Well, uh, yeah, because Daddy, Uncle. Look over here, Mom. Uncle Frank Carl. Mm -hmm. I told you about his sister, though, but uh, uh, what I say her name was? I don't forget. Nancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Uncle Frank and uh, Henry Carl and George Carl. Mm hmm that was my grandma's brothers. Okay. Wow. Well, I didn't even know my grandma's brothers. Well, I know them. <laughs> know all three of them. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Henry Cobb, George Cobb, and Frank Cobb. Wow. Wow. And they had a lot of children. Now, uh, Uncle Frank was cutting Doretha's uh, uh, daddy, uh, Charlie. Mm. You know, uh, you know, uh, Alton Washington. Mm -hmm. Do I? Uh huh. Nah. Uh huh. But you know Alton. You, you know Alton Washington. Yeah, he used to be David City Manager here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. He's in our family. Really? Mm -hmm. What's his name? Alton Washington. Alton Washington. Washington. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, we came out of big family, but we had to work. They learned us how to work, man. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I, I worked here too. Hmm. Yes, sir. And we still sit in your house that you own. Yeah. Now, is this is this house paid off or are you still paying on it? Oh, baby, this house been paid off so many years, I'll tell you. I don't know. Wow. Did you have, did you have to build onto the house or? Uh-uh. this is it. Is it? Mm-hmm. Three bedroom. Wow. Mm -hmm. Still got the same role. Mm -hmm. Ain't had to do much. Somebody tried to break in my house. I was going to Avondale to Daryl's uh, game. Mm -hmm. And so the, the, my boys know that I was going. Some of them come up in and, and broke my window. Mm -hmm. But Wanda was here. And they opened the door and they ran on through the back. Mm -hmm. Was it, uh, what's his name, uh, Titus? No, it wasn't Titus. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't on him. <laughs> <laughs> There's some old boys that thought I would, they know that I'd go to the games, you know. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Well, look, I, I thank you so much for talking to me today. Oh, you do? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, bless your heart. Uh -huh. and all them braids on your head. <laughs> 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 when you come in, I didn't know what to wear. I said, hey, I thought that boy said a man was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, well, I'm definitely honored. I appreciate you so much, mother, for allowing me to take your time. All right, then. You know, so you'll be seeing this soon, okay? Okay. All let right, me, thank Let you. me show you some... Uh
Fans. Some fans. I got some fans. Everybody, it's your boy Darnell, and I want to thank you so much for coming on here and watching the interview. If you can, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at Arizona Informant TV, where you will get all the latest content, all the updated information, and all the latest news. So, again, please subscribe to the channel, and we will see you soon.